All right, this will be a real quick one here. Um, so uh, we're rationalizing denominators. This happens to you. You know, sometimes you have to do this, like in pre-calculus or even algebra 2. Sometimes it's not that big a deal anymore. But anyway, um, there's kind of like a rule in math where they don't like to leave radicals in the denominator of a problem. And so it kind of goes back to when we didn't have calculators, I'm pretty sure. And you know, like if you have this answer here, 8 divided by radical 2. Um, radical 2 is a never-ending, it's an irrational number. It just never repeat. the decimal never repeats, no pattern to it, nothing. And so it's hard to divide by a number that you don't know, like that has no pattern to it. But multiplying by a number like that is easier because you can just stop whenever you want, you know, however accurate you want to be. And so pretty sure that's the reason why but anyway they don't like to leave radicals in the denominator so here we go so to get rid of a radical I'm gonna have 8 over radical 2 what you're gonna do is you're gonna multiply by that exact same radical remember we learned a couple videos ago if you multiply a radical by itself a square root by itself it pops out but whatever you do the bottom you gotta do the top so really all you're doing is multiplying by 1 right because radical 2 over radical 2 is is equal to 1 so you're just changing how the problem looks you're not changing the value of it kind of like when you have let's say you have um, you know 15 over 20 you're dividing both of those by 5 to get 3 fourths 3 fourths has the same weight as 15 20 so both equal to 0.75 you're not changing the value by doing anything doing anything d dividing those by 5 you're just changing what it looks like so the same thing here all right, so when we do this, we get 8 radical 2 on top, and on the bottom, 2 pops out. Now, I would be done, but I do notice that this 8 and this 2 reduce to a 4. So I get 4 radical 2. That's it. All right, so here, um, I got 7 radical over radical 6. So I have radical 6, radical 6 to multiply by, and I get 7 radical 6 over 6 pops out. And that's finished. Nothing reduces. So 7 radical 6 over 6. All right, when you have um, an expression with a radical, what you do is you multiply by the conjugate. I'm going to do this down here. So I have 3 over 2 plus radical 5. So if you multiply 2 plus radical 5 by 2 minus radical 5, the conjugate, what's going to happen is you're going to see the radical disappears. So whatever I do to the bottom, I do to the top. So the top. It's going to be, you know, distributive property. So it's going to be 6 minus 3 radical 5. Again, I'm not worried about the top having a, the numerator having a radical. But look at what happens to the bottom. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times here is minus 2 radical 5. This will be plus 2 radical 5. Those are going to cancel. And I'm going to do radical 5 times radical 5, and a 5 is going to pop out. Okay, so here we go. So I've got 4. 2 times negative radical 5 is negative 2 radical 5. Then the inside right here is positive 2 radical 5. And then the last part, radical 5 times radical 5, is negative, and 5 pops out. So look what happens. These cancel. And the bottom is 4 minus 5. So I have 6 minus 3 radical 5 over negative 1. And I can leave my answer like that, but, you know, I could just divide both parts by negative 1 since it turned out to be a nice, easy answer. 6 over negative 1 is um, negative 6. Negative 3 radical 5 over negative 1 is plus 3 radical 5. And so you see how there's no radical in the denominator anymore. Okay, on this next one, I have 1 plus 2 radical 3 over 4 minus radical 2. I multiply by the conjugate of the denominator, 4 plus radical 2. And so this one's just a little harder than the last one. All right, so top, 1 times 4 is 4. 1 times radical 2 is radical 2. Here I get plus 8 radical 3, and here I get mm, plus 2 radical 6. So that's done. That doesn't clean up at all. It's so gross. But on the bottom, 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times radical 2 is plus 4 radical 2. The inside turns into minus 4 radical 2, and the last part turns into minus, and a 2 pops out. So look, these cancel. 16 minus 2 is 14. So I get 4 plus radical 2 plus 8 radical 3 plus 2 radical 6, all divided by 14. And if you wanted to, you could do like we did here. You could like divide each part. So 4 over 14 reduces to 2 sevenths. 
plus radical 2 over 14 plus the 8 over 14 makes 4 sevenths. Radical 3. And on the end, 2 over 14 makes 1 seventh, so radical 6 over 7. So, I mean, either one doesn't matter. Okay, frankly, I feel like this looks a little bit better, but whatever. <laughs> okay.